Welcome to the NBA Pick'em Show presented by Underdog Fantasy alongside Tyler Weeman. I am Shannon Somerville, and we are here to give you our three best NBA picks for today on Underdog Fantasy. If you don't already have the Underdog Fantasy app, make sure to download it. Use the promo code LINESTAR so you can get up to $100 of your first deposit match. Take advantage of that deal. And when you get a chance, give us a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Let us know where you're headed in pick them for today. We're trying to put together a winning entry on underdogs, so let's get after it. Now, yesterday on the show, we were 2-0 and in our picks. Uh, my pick, James Harden, was a, did not play, so we were 2-0. and So, Tyler, my philosophy is, hey, we got to just celebrate where we can and where we win, 2-0. and I know your team no fun over there, but I'm setting off the money gun because that's good enough for me to uh, celebrate. That's a winning ticket right there, so let's give out some money. Uh, we're going to give away $30. It's not as big of a win because it's not three picks. So we'll give away $30 to a randomly selected commenter. And the winner is Tom Jang5652, who commented on our video yesterday. Nice picks. Looks like a winning slip. Sure was. A little Nostradamus right there. You can predict the future. Let's hope we have a nice winning ticket today for Underdog Fantasy. Let's get after our picks for today. It's kind of a gross slate, if I must say. But we have managed to find some decent picks for you guys. And again, let us know where you guys are thinking for picks in the comments. We're all trying to help each other out. If you think we're taking crazy pills with some of these picks, hey, we want to hear that too. So let us know in the comments. As always, a comment enters you into that contest so you could be our winner tomorrow. And we'll announce it on the show with a money gun celebration, Tyler, whether we we're 2-0 and or 3-0. and All right, let's get into it. We'll start off with Line Stars Props AI Pick of the Day. We're going with Nick Claxton. Former Georgia Bulldog, higher than 11 rebounds. Line Star's projection for Claxton is 12 rebounds in this game. He's been averaging 10 and a half over the last 10 games, but has gone over that or pushed three of the last five. Now, big factor here is the Brooklyn Nets are without Dorian Finney-Smith in this one. And so that's a huge factor when we consider Claxton's rebound total. Uh, in fact, he had 16 rebounds last game against Toronto, and that was with DFS in the lineup going up against Toronto Raptors, allowing 11.7 rebounds per game to opposing centers in this one. So, Tyler, I like Nick Claxton. I always have because he's a former Georgia Bulldog like myself, but I like him especially today given the circumstances. What do you think? Yeah, I like the spot also. And the uh, line has actually dropped to 10.5 uh, rebounds. So we oh. are now winning at 11, which I like much better. It's just this spot versus Toronto. Toronto has been awful versus center. They are pretty mm -hmm. much the worst in the league at stopping center rebounds. They're allowing 2.15 additional rebounds over average to the starting center. So I like Clax in this spot. He is a beast on the glass. And in this yeah. spot, he could absolutely dominate. All right. So now it's time for you and I to give our best bets of the day. Where are you headed for your pick on Underdog Fantasy today? I'm going to go to a game that actually matters today. And that is <laughs> Minnesota versus Denver. And we're going with Aaron Gordon higher than 13.5 points. Our lines are projections all the way up to 20, which is crazy high but i do think he's gonna go over he's averaging 14.3 per game over the last 20 that's up to 16.2 over the last five but in a game that pretty much comes down mm -hmm. to a little bit more of a playoff like scenario because they're battling yeah. for the number one seed they're tied mm -hmm. both have the same exact uh record and one seed is a big benefit so i think uh they're going to play a little bit more like a playoff game me yeah. and gordon might get a couple extra minutes and minnesota is allowing 16.3 points per game to the starting po uh, power forward which mm -hmm. is 0.35 additional field goals made over average for the position so i like the spot yeah, without Cat in there, um, definitely a place to attack is with Aaron Gordon. And what a great game that will be. Battle for the top spot in the Western Conference. All right, for my pick, I'm going to the Milwaukee Bucks. It's game time now that Giannis Antetokounmpo is out with a calf injury. We're going higher than 27 and a half points. Lillard's only averaging 24 points per game. However, this Giannis injury news impacts significantly. Without Giannis, Dame's usage goes up 
from 27.5 to 34.6, and his points per 100 goes from 32.7 to 40.2. So significant boost for Dame. He is going up against a really good defense, but if you're going to target the Orlando Magic anywhere, it's probably at the point guard position where they're 22nd in points to opposing guards. In fact, Fred Van Vliet just put up 37 against them last night. And in fact, Dame had 24 last, ga last game he faced the Orlando Magic. That was with Giannis in the mix there. And this is a pretty good game as well. Both teams second and fourth respectively in the Eastern Conference. So it should be competitive. Just a one-point spread in this one in favor of the Orlando Magic. So I think it's Dame time. They brought him to Milwaukee for a reason. And it is to win games like this late in the season. And heading into the playoffs, especially, you know, I think the entire Milwaukee Bucks organization probably – uh, reeling after the injury of Giannis, although I think they're probably maybe breathing a little sigh of relief given the fact that it looks like his Achilles, last I checked, was intact. But still, mm -hmm. uh, some big news out of Milwaukee in this one. So we're rolling with Dame for tonight. But what are your thoughts on that injury in general? Uh, I mean, really hard to say before we know totally yeah. what it really is. But uh, I know I did listen to a thing of Dr. Chow. Uh, talking about it earlier today where he thinks it's going to be okay, but he's going to be out for some time. So it's all about, you know, the significance of what they find uh, as far as how long he will be out. But he seemed to think that he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on underdog fantasy. Here is our entry. Nick Claxton higher than 10 and a half rebounds. Thank you, Tyler, for correcting me. That has gone down from 11 to 10 and a half. Aaron Gordon higher than 13 and a half points and Damian Lillard higher than 27 and a half points. Let's send it. And Tyler, I know we weren't three and oh exactly, but I did give out that Knicks pick yesterday. I said, hey, if you want a Knicks pick, I'll just give you one. Dante DiVincenzo, in fact, went over on his points total so technically three and oh so the money gun celebration is in fact still sacred uh, on our show I, I i promise <laughs> all right uh crickets that's gonna do it for us today we will see you guys tomorrow again drop your comment below give me your picks for today and i you could be in it to win it, to win on our contest tomorrow hopefully another money gun celebration is in the works for us good luck everybody we'll see you guys tomorrow good luck guys